The journey began with me becoming a part of the National Gallery of Art, Art Around the Corner program, and uh, learning how to use art with my students to teach them how to read, how to write, teach them vocabulary words, uh, teach them science and social studies, and even math. I became a student of the gallery as well. I would take copious notes, and then I would go home and think about how I could use this in my classroom. I started focusing on how the gallery teachers were asking questions, were inviting students to look closely at a work of art, and slowing us down. I immediately began to do that in my classroom. I began to slow myself down, and in doing that, my students began to slow down as well. I began to mimic the gallery teachers in my classroom. But what was so awesome for me about the whole change was that my students were actually paying attention. They were becoming good listeners. They were becoming critical thinkers. They were becoming problem solvers. And they were using the higher order thinking skills, such as drawing conclusions and inferring um, about works of art and then making the connection with what we were studying about in that particular subject, whether it was art or reading or, or math, social studies or science. A challenge for me was that we had entered into this new impact observation tool for teachers and we had to say certain things. The children had to be engaged and we were being observed and scored on whether or not we were doing those things in the classroom which would help move students along for mastery of a particular subject. I was thrilled because the thinking routines hit every score and block on that impact. I was jubilant. I was just so happy because I knew that I would be able to be a highly effective and highly qualified teacher if I just continued to use the artful thinking routines. And that is what I did. Again, my kids were very engaged. The classroom management was at a minimum. I, there was very little that I had to do. All students, all students, even those students that had challenges, they were talking. The students who were quiet that wouldn't talk or wouldn't raise his or her hand, they were doing that. Um, the conversations were much deeper and, and more purposeful and um, were more thoughtful. It just made my life easy as a teacher, and I just enjoy it. I use it at home as well when I'm talking to my family members. I say, well, what makes you say that? Thank <laughs> you.